On one of our videos, Choice, an actor left a comment and this actor put, I don't know how to find work and an agent won't work with me mm. because I don't have experience. Mm -hmm. What would you tell this actor? Um, pursue a manager because it seems like nowadays they're easier to, to, to gain. But, you know, it, it's not like how it used to be. It used to be you get a manager, you get an agent, then you go out, you audition and stuff. No. You can do a lot of it yourself. You can build your body of work by submitting and creating content. You know, actors have this tendency of just waiting around and, you know, or if they get an agent, a manager, oh, okay, everything's okay. No, it's not. You know, agents and managers are like, gosh, the last person they see is the last person they remember. So if they met you five people ago, or five persons ago, now they're not even thinking about you and you have to stay in their mind. You can do so much more nowadays, especially being non-union because there's a lot of projects that are non-union. Actors tend to get caught up in this thing of, it, my career's not going anywhere unless I'm doing it. But the, you know, it goes back to that money thing again. They get into it to make money. And the money is not the key. <laughs> you know, you can make money doing a lot of other things. Um, if you're if you're in the entertainment industry, specifically acting, you're in it in order to live your dream. And you're, you're in it in order to create great content that's going to change lives. That's just my opinion. But I would t I would top it off or cap it off by saying, create your own content because you can even become SAG that way or SAG eligible that way. Or submit, 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 submit yourself for anything and everything. Find out who the casting directors are on projects. Let them know, hey, listen, I'm here. I'm available to do standing work. I'm available to do extra work because I started out as an extra actor and it opened up doors for me. The first extra gig that I got, I got camera time. I didn't wow. get any voice uh, work, but the camera was on me over and over again. So there were little signs that told me to keep going. And that's what I would say to anybody who's an actor. It's like, don't just depend on getting an agent or a manager. You got your own resources. The internet now is, is, a, is a hive of different types of resources to submit yourself. There's so many casting type of opportunities. You know, you, yeah, listen, you may not become the lead of a film, but at least you get in next to the person next to the person. What's wrong with that? And talking about observation, it's a great, great way to observe how the set works, the feel of it, you know, the, the protocol. You can see a lot. From Extra it. work, background, actors, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> My first job on the set as an extra was Free Jack. And I got to meet Emilio Estevez and Rene Russo. It doesn't get any better. Oh, In Atlanta, boy. we were, we were, we were there for the, we were there. It was the best weekend ever. We were there for the Prince concert. And after that, we were riding by and we saw this area. We were like, what's all this happening here? And so we went over to the area where the video village was. I don't even know how we got over there. We just parked and walked over there. And, I, and I'm asking this guy, I'm like, what's going on? Oh, they're filming a movie with Anthony Hopkins and Rene Russo and Emilio Estevez. I'm like, really? They were like, yeah. And I'm like, well, what's that lady doing? Says she's looking for extras. And I'm like, what's an extra? Oh, you get to be in the movie. So I didn't know the, 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 the particulars for it, but I just knew, oh, this is something cool. And so I go over and, and they said, just stand there and look good because she'll pick you. So she comes and picks me and my friends. And we're in this movie. And this is before I come out to L.A. and do what I consider my first first extra work, which I knew what exactly I was doing. But where I'm at, there's this car that keeps going back and forth and they put us right there. Out pops out Rene Russo. Out pops out Emilio Estevez. We're standing there. We're talking. We're having a good time. We take pictures. <laughs> Emilio and I are singing hair songs, songs from <laughs> hair. It's crazy. And I'm like, this is cool. This is great. I get to L.A. I do my first big extra job, as I said before. And it gets to a point where I need to become SAG. And I'm like, man, how am I going to do it? I need vouchers. I go look in my box. Guess what? That voucher that I had got from Free Jack was a SAG eligible voucher. Wow. So I had been tapped hardly and I didn't even know it. Oh, my gosh. And that's just from driving by, not calling. Driving by. A casting. Didn't know anything about it. Talk about random fortune. Stroke, you know, got out. 
win over, apply yourself. And that's what I think people should do. I think you should apply yourself. Don't be afraid to do extra work. Sometimes if, if it's meant to be for you, you may even get a line. You know, managers and agents can't do that for you. 